Do employers really care about resume gaps? If so, is there a way to fill those in? Great question. Yes, employers care about resume gaps. The question is how long and how many? So if you have a great career track record, but somewhere in there, there was like one small gap, nobody's gonna think twice, especially if there's a career track record, a gap, but then there's more career track record. It's in the past. It's when it's a recent gap, it's a longer gap, or there's multiple gaps that they start to wonder about your career continuity. Let's talk about career continuity. Everyone understands that people go through different changes in their careers, okay? But what they're looking for is that you were self-aware enough that you've created career continuity, meaning you can explain why you move from this job to this job to this job, all in ways that were very strategic and positive towards your career, that you were building your skills and you were moving forward in your career. That's career continuity. So when there's a gap, there's a hiccup in that continuity. When there's multiple gaps, there's multiple hiccups. And it starts to get harder to imagine that you've been consistently and positively moving your career forward. So if you do have longer gaps, multiple gaps, you can't really fill them, you can't hide that because one quick background check is gonna show that you had gaps in employment. Instead, you're gonna have to be prepared to talk about them. And at Work at Daily, when we teach people how to talk about their gaps, we focus on the concept of MOAs, Moments of Accountability. See, when you're explaining a gap, if you're making nothing but excuses, you're suspect. You should be able to take ownership of something as it relates to why that gap occurred. Right? Maybe the job market was harder than you thought and it took longer to find a job than you expected. Own that, okay? Maybe you took some time off and you didn't kick in your job search until six months after you had left your last job. Own that. You can't make excuses or try to dance around it. It is far more credible when you can say, look, let me own part of this. Because I'm not saying that you did anything wrong. I'm saying that given what you know now, you should be able to look back and say, here's how I would have done it differently so that gap didn't occur. That's all they wanna hear. How did you learn and grow? How would you make sure that gap wouldn't happen again? And so you've gotta get very clear on that. And that's one of the things we do exceptionally well in Work It Daily, is our coaching team works with you on tough questions like that, where you can write out your answers and then we can help you rewrite what you're saying. Not for it to be a lie, but for it to include that moment of accountability and be more objective and balanced. Because that's what HR and recruiting and hire managers were trained to look for. They know that not everybody has a perfect career track record. But if you can't explain your career continuity in a way that's fair and balanced, and if you can't take ownership, moments of accountability, for places where it's not perfect, then something's up. And they know that. That's not what they wanna hire. So it's really important that you get clear on that and you make sure you're doing the right thing.